Oh, sure it is. Right. Um, Let's see. Okay. Uh, now, normally, I just write the notes on the board, but I thought this year I'll try to make slides. So, for the beginning of the year, I have the slides made. And I hope until the end of the year, I will continue to use slides. But maybe at some point in the future, I decide it's too much work and I stop making slides. But for the moment, there's slides for the class. Okay. Hmm? I do, uh, but they need time to make. Yeah. So for the moment, I'm like, yes, I'll do this. But maybe in 10 weeks, I will think, this is too much work. I'm going to go back to writing on the board. But for the moment, there's slides. Okay. Now this lesson uh, and all the lessons are recorded, so I'll put them up on YouTube uh, later today, so you can watch them again later. I'll put the link on the web page. I'll give you the information later. Don't worry. Uh, this kind of it's like notes for us. Yes, uh, you don't need to write every single word down but you should make notes from each slide and we'll do examples of questions too. Okay, so what we're going to look at in the first lesson is what every physics class starts with, high school or university. Uh, it's the first lesson is always about units. Units being like meters, kilograms and all this stuff. So, if you didn't have that note, you still need to write this down, even if you know what these words are. But I'd like you, even, especially if you don't know these words, write these two words down, units and dimensions. So write. Have you seen these words before, or are these new words? Mm -hmm. New words, good, so write them down. Is it too dark? Can you see? Do you need the light on? Or maybe half the light? Is it okay? Yeah. Alright, I can start, I think, can you go? Oops. Right, so this is what we'll have a look at. Don't worry about that. Okay, so what is a unit? A unit, now you don't need to write this part down. Uh, a unit is a reference system used to measure physical quantity. That's great, but what does that mean? Um, length, mass and time are called dimensions. So maybe it's a little bit clearer now. You all know what time is. You know time? Mm -hmm. And length? Mm -hmm. And mass. What's mass? Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> this, this is, as I said, this is mass. Uh, these are dimensions. And units is what we use to measure them. So for example, meter is for length. What do we use for mass? If meter is for length, well, kilogram is for mass, and what about time? What do we use for time? Seconds. So these are the units and the dimensions. So length, mass, time are the dimensions. <coughs> Meter, kilogram, second are the units. You see the two difference? Yeah. yeah. Question? No? And you can make other dimensions. So for example, what's area? Yeah. Uh, so area is this multiply this. And what's the unit? Meter square. Meter square. Uh, yeah, meter squared. And what's the dimension? Yeah. Uh, length squared. Yeah. So you see, length by length makes length squared. And the units, meter, meter, yeah. meter squared. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> uh, so the size. Uh, or the magnitude is how big it is. 
to write it. So for example, if I said 5 kilograms, the magnitude is 5. No. Right now I'm going to give you vocabulary to start the lesson, okay? So we've got three key words. Um, magnitude, dimension and unit. They're the three key words so far. Magnitude, dimension and unit. Now you, uh, you don't need to write all of this. You just need to write enough to remember what magnitude, dimension and unit are. Yeah, good. So just uh, something to help you remember the tree. Does anybody know what their mass is? How many kilograms they are? Does anybody know? Around 90. Around 90. So if Bahad is 90 kilograms, what's the magnitude? 90. 90. And the dimension? What, are we, what is the dimension in this example? Mass. mass. And the unit? Kilogram. Kilogram. Okay, so we have these three words. Yes? No? You don't seem happy with this. Confused? I'll give you another example. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Oops. Okay. Let's have an example. So, this here, the length, that's called the dimension. This here, the meter, what's that? That's the yeah. unit. And this here, the 1.6, what's that? The uh, magnitude. So these are the three words I want you to understand right now. Well, I shouldn't really say length, I should really say height, but it doesn't matter. So even this picture, I think, is enough. It'll help you remember the three words. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to go back to the slides now. Right, so we all know what our basic units are because we all use them in our home country because there are no Americans here. Any Americans? No. So we all use uh, the SI system. And the SI system has seven basic units. So the first unit of course is a meter. Does anybody know other units? Yes? What would be your second? Second's another one, yes? Yeah. Okay. Kilograms, yeah. So we got meter, which is for length. Kilogram, which is for mass. And uh, second, which is for time. Okay, do we know any more? Acceleration meter per second squared. Ah, but that's using the ones we already have, so new ones then. Yeah? Some people, someone has another one? Do we know any more? No? Nope. Well, that's meters which we, we have. I'll give you the next one. Yes? Okay. Ah, what happened to you? Huh? Okay. So what do you like? Um, mm. uh, people who are this way from my class... Ah, right. People who are this way from my class aren't allowed in. 
So I will make an exception only for the first day. Okay. Next time I'll ask you to leave. Okay? Yes. Uh, right. The next one is the amp. The amp is used to measure current. Now don't worry, we'll do that later. Kelvin? Who knows Kelvin now? Somebody might know Kelvin. Yes. What's Kelvin for? Temperature. Temperature. Very good. Kelvin or sometimes Celsius. Mole. Mole. Um. Only the chemistry students would see this maybe. Uh, yeah. Don't worry, mole is to measure how much of something. So don't worry about that. Uh, and then lastly, we will not use this one on the course. Candela. Candela, yes. Light. It's for light. And this is not part of our course. So our course will use the first six of the units, uh, but we will not use the last unit. So this is the only time we'll see it. We'll use mole. We'll use mole, yeah. We'll use mole, Kelvin, amps, seconds, kilograms, and meters. So I would like you to write these seven names down with their units. M, K, G, S, A, K, Mole, uh, and CD. These are the seven basic units. So these are really important. Um, there are two countries which don't use these units. What are the, those two countries? I've told you one of them already. America. Canada? Uh, no, Canada uses meters. No, actually, I don't think so. Canada uses meters. Anywhere else? So let me put the question like this. Where, what countries will not use kilometers? for driving, like kilometers per hour. America is one. They don't use kilometers per hour. What do they use? The miles. miles. Well, uh, where's the other country? No? Nobody knows? England. England, yeah. UK. Is that UK. Uh -huh. Yeah. No, we use it. Yeah. So in England, they don't. They use miles in England. And we use meters. Okay. Do you have those seven written down? Yeah. You don't need to write the full sentence. I really just want the name and the symbol. Meter and kilogram kg. What are you writing? How far are you? You're at amp. Okay. We only started using meters in Ireland recently, since maybe about, I'm trying to think when, maybe about 2003, maybe about this, maybe, maybe 2005, yeah about 2003. So we haven't always used meters in Ireland, meters and kilograms are more recent. I suppose in China you always use meters, like for a long time? Yeah? Yeah. And what about uh, in Korea? Meters? Kilograms? Yeah. Okay, can I go to the next slide now? The last one. Last one, Candidat CD. Mm. Mol and Moel. I'm going to the next slide now, I need to hit. go on. So, um, if two 
things have the same dimension, you can compare them. So for example, you can compare Fahad's mass with, some, with my mass. So you can say Fahad is 90 kilograms and maybe I'm 91 kilograms and you can compare them or whatever. Okay. But you can't compare, for example, Fahad's mass with my height. It doesn't make sense because that's kilograms and height is meters. So you can't compare those. So the comparison must be the same unit, same dimension. Okay. And if you want to add or subtract, multiply or divide, uh, sorry, if they're the same uh, unit, you can add, subtract, multiply or divide them. You're allowed to do that. So, you know, two meters plus one meter is three meters. Does that make sense? Um, but if they're different, you can't add or subtract them. So you put in like two meters plus one kilogram. It makes no sense. Uh, but what is interesting is if they're different, you can still multiply them or divide them, which might seem strange. So, for example, here, one kilo. Uh, let's change the colour. One kilogram plus one meter. That's wrong. But one kilogram divided by one meter. That's actually okay. So with multiplying and dividing, you can really do anything. The only limit is on the adding or the subtracting. They must be the same. Yes, question? No, okay. Um, so I'll just go back here. So you don't, need, you don't even need to write this down if you knew all of that. Okay, if you knew that and if that makes sense, you don't have to write it down. If you learn something new, make a small note. If you multiply multiple What's that? You multiply different terms. That's right, yeah, that's why it's okay, yeah. And also divide, yeah. Okay, so let's have a look at some examples together there. Let's see if we've got this. So which are valid and which are invalid? So the first one, 5 meters plus 2 meters. Well, okay or not okay? okay? It's okay. 5 meters is bigger than 2 meters. Okay. Is that okay to say? Okay. Yeah. Uh, 2 hours is bigger than 1 kilogram. No. no. Uh, 3 kilograms divided by 2 meters cubed. Yeah. That's okay. 5 meters plus 2 kilograms? No. 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 Not okay. Invalid. And 5 meters multiply 2 kilograms? It's valid, that's fine. Okay, so uh, we won't even write that down. Okay, in this case I want the uh, dimension. So what I'll do is, well what I'll let you do is first write this question down and then I'll do it on the board. We'll do it together. Okay, so write this example down. So what I'll do is, um, let's have, uh, well, I'll do them here. All right, what was my first one? It was W equals X plus Y plus Z, wasn't it? Yeah. W equals X plus Y plus Z. And I want to know what is the dimension of W. In other words, uh, is it length, mass, length. time, what is it? Length. Now, why is it length? The answer is this measures length. That's correct. Why though? Because x is length. Yeah, x. What did we say x measures? Length. It says the measure length. True? Yeah. If I add these together, it means that y must also be length and z must also be yeah. length. So therefore, uh, the w also must be length. You got the idea? Yeah? No, you're not happy. You're very unhappy. What are you unhappy about? 
all of this. You're unhappy. Yeah, okay. We'll look at it again. Right. X. If I go back to the question here, I said that X is measures length. So, for example, X could be 2 meters or 1 meter, whatever. So, X measures length. Now, if I want to add, it is only valid if this is also length. Because if this was mass, can I do it? I can't do it if it's mass, yes. Yeah. I can only do it if it's length. And if I want to add again, length plus length is length, what must this one be? You got the idea? Length, good, okay. So that means this one here is length also. We're happy, great. Uh, okay, what's the next one? What was the next one? X, Y like this. Okay, so let's have a look at it again. Uh, X, what's the, un uh, the unit, sorry, I should really say this, dimension, length. length. And Y is length. So what is the dimension of A? Length, length squared. We're getting the idea? Yeah. Yes? Okay. Right, uh, what's the next one? V equals XYZ, we'll say XYZ in Ireland, over, oh no, just XYZ? Yeah, okay. So just like the last one, maybe we can jump straight to the answer. What's the dimension? Meter. Length cubed. Yeah, and the unit, the unit would be meter cubed. Yeah. Okay. Right, what's the next one? Ah, no, that's not P. Very good. Somebody knows their Greek alphabet. Rho. This is a Greek letter. Rho. Rho, yes. Pronounced like this. And it was probably, I probably wrote this, was it? M over V. Of course, I'm very tired. M over V. Right. So, here, what do we have? Uh, which is big M, and here this is Cube. length cubed, and that's the answer. The dimension is mass per length cubed. That's what it is. By the way, what would the unit be? The unit would be what's mass? Gram or kilogram. kilogram, yeah, and length meter cubed. So this would be kilograms per meter cubed. That might look familiar to some of you. Is there any more rules that is? Was that the last one? Yeah, that's the last that one. was the last one? Yeah, okay. Right, I'll go back now to this. Yeah. Now what are the units of each? Okay, so we can do this. We don't even need to write it down. So what are, what's the units of uh, the first one? The unit. Well, what would you say the dimension was? Length. Length. So what's the unit? Meter. Meter. The second one? Meter squared. Uh, meter squared. The third one? Meter cubed. Meter cubed. And the last one? We said it was a kilogram per meter cubed. Yeah. So that's okay. Uh, the last one actually is something we have in physics called density, which is, yeah. uh, which is rho, the symbol. Uh, and density is how much mass per unit volume. And the formula is this, it was in my example. This is the formula for density. The dimension we've already seen is mass per length cubed. I from my high school, always used, uh, you see here, the forward slash, you see this? But this is not really the way you should do it nowadays. Nowadays, it is uh, only really to be done this way. Instead of writing a forward slash here, we should write a uh, minus three. 
I will try not to write this. I should not really write it like this. I should really like, write it like this. Kilograms uh, per meter cubed. You see with the minus tree. This minus tree is meaning per meter cubed. So, we and I shall try not to use the forward slash. I'll try to use the, um, the proper way of writing it. Just to be clear about that point, maybe. Like here, you see I wrote it like this. I shouldn't really write it like this. The normal way to write it is like this. Kg space, little space, m minus 3. This is how we should write it. Okay. This is how I wrote it in high school. So I'll try not to write it this way. You do it this way too? What about other people? Like this, A or B? Which way did they learn in high school? A? A? Both of them? Both of them? Uh, for the physics exam, they will expect you to write it like this. Okay? So just like me, we'll try our best to write it like this. Okay? Uh, right. So please make note of this definition. Please write this down. Um, and also there should be a little space here which there's not Okay, you have this definition? Of course, you don't need to write that we and I shall try not to use forward slash, so you can actually go back to there. Okay, we got this? In the, are you needing more time? No, you have it? Okay. Okay, so let's have a look at an example. Uh, what is the density of water? If one litre of water has a mass of one kilogram, note that 1,000 litres equals one metre cubed. So let's, let's have a look at this example here. So what you've got, it's just a, a small example. You have, um, you want to know what is the density of water. So density is mass over volume. Yeah. Now let's imagine uh, we have, I think maybe even said it in the question. No, I didn't say it. Okay, let's make our life easy and let's say we have 1,000 litres. So I said in the question, if you have 1,000 litres, that's 1 metre by 1 metre by 1 metre. And I also said that the mass would be 1,000 kilograms. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so on the top I have 1,000 kilograms and on the bottom what do I have? One. One. Meter cubed. So the answer is 1,000 kilograms per meter minus three like this. So when we talk about density, we often use water as kind of like uh, our example for what we compare things to. So like for example, if I was doing a problem and I got an answer of like density equals 600 kilograms per meter cube, you might think, well, what does, what does that mean? I would often say, well, it's like about half the density of water. So I often find using water as a good example to compare densities to. You know, if I said how big is 3 meters, in your mind you imagine 1 meter is like maybe, I don't know, to here, so then 3 is up to there. So if I said the density is 600 kilograms per meter cubed, you might say, so what? 
So we can compare it to water. So we can have an idea of how much density there, how dense it is. Okay. Um, so 600 kilograms, uh, that would be something like, for example, 600 would be something like wood maybe. So it's not as dense as water. So when you put it in water, what happens? Yeah. Goes, goes up. Yeah. What if something has density of 2,000 kilograms and you put it in water, what happens to it? It goes down. Yeah. So anyway, I often use water as, compa as a comparison for density. Okay. We can use prefixes to make units bigger or smaller. So in fact, you know what prefixes are already because you use them all the time. For example, one kilogram is 1,000 grams. One kilometer is 1,000 meters. 100 centimeters is one meter. So you use prefixes all the time. For example, gigabyte, megabyte, kilobyte, terabyte. Uh, so the ones we need to know, and you need to know these, you need to memorize them. We need to know these ones for class. Giga, which is G, mega, kilo, centi, milli, micro, and nano. You need to know these for class. You need to have them learnt. This last one here, I have too many zeros in it. I'll need to get rid of one of them. Well, I'll fix it in a minute when you finish writing it down. So just uh, remove one of those zeros there. I'll cover it up. One too many. Okay. Do we have this? Yep. Okay, make sure I'm still recording. E right. Okay, so let's, ha uh, let's have a look at some examples where we have to use these prefixes. Okay, so just write this one down and then we'll do it together. So change 50 kilometers an hour into meters per second. Okay, let's have a look at this one. So we want to change 50 kilometers per hour. So I should really write it without the slash, but oh well, already broke my promise. Uh, 50 kilometers per hour. That's 50 km over hours. Okay, what's nice about prefixes is uh, they're just like numbers. So, for example, kilo, k, how big is that? Oh. It's a thousand. So, this is 50, 1,000 meters per hour. Okay? Now, hour, what can we do about... Two. 3,600 seconds, or if you want, Six. here, yeah, it's 60 mm. minutes, and then a minute is 60 seconds, so in total it's 3,600 seconds. 
So the answer would be 50 times 1,000 over 3,600 meters per second. Now, I'll do it the right way. Uh, let me just grab the calculator here. So I got 13.9 meters per second. Right. Uh, convert 50. Now, this actually, these examples are common. You'll need to do these uh, often. 50 centimeters squared into meters squared. Okay. So I'll write that down. You want to convert 50 centimeter squared to meter squared. Convert. Yep. Now, this is where you need to be uh, really, really careful. This is why I'm doing this example. It looks like the square is on the M. So it looks like this, C M squared. But in fact, it's not. When we write, oops, when we write centimeter squared, we should really write it like this, C M squared. The square here is actually on both, not just on the M. So you just need to be careful about that. In physics, um, when you have something like cm squared or mm squared, really it's on the whole thing. Okay, so just be careful about that in physics. We would never do that in maths. In maths class, if I wrote x, y squared, where's the square? on the wall. Okay? So please be careful about that in physics class. Okay, so now we can try the question. So, uh, 50 centimeter squared, that really equals 50 centimeter squared like this, which equals 50 mm -hmm. centi squared and meter squared. How big is this centi? What did we say centi was? What did we say centi was? Like 10 minus 2. Yeah, 10 minus 2, which is 0 0.01. Okay? So this would be 0 0.01 squared. Meter squared. So this would be 50 times... 0 0.01 squared meter squared. So let's see what we get. 50 times 0 0.01 squared. Which would be 0 0.123 is what I have here. Yeah, 1, 2, 3, 5 meter squared. If you like, you can write it like this. 5 times 10 to the minus 3 meter squared. And the minus 3 is because there are 1, 2, 3 zeros.
this is a common thing you will need to do in the exam. When they give you a question, they sometimes hide the information. They have to, uh, they make you change it from maybe centimeters to meters, like in my example. Okay, do you have this? Taken down yet? Yes. yes. Okay. So, if you know how big the letters are, you can see it's not too difficult to uh, convert, to change. But it's important that you learn how big the letters are. Okay? And Milai. How big is Milai? Who remembers Milai? 10 to the minus 3. Um, nano? I know you can read it. I want to see if you can remember. Huh? Minus 9. Minus 9. Micro is minus 6. Yeah. Uh, so just try to learn these off because you'll need to have them memorized for the exam. They won't be given to you in the exam. Okay. Right, uh, let's go back here. Okay, so uh, these are the questions I want you to try now. Um, let me stop the recording. Well, actually, before I stop it, let me go back to the screen here. Okay, so you have uh, three questions here, and they're just like the examples I did. So you can do them now for a few minutes. You can take a break for a few minutes. Uh, it's your choice. If you do them now, then you don't have to do them at home because this will be your homework also. Yep. So the next class, oh, I should also say, right here, let me stop this now.